Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. We're back on my Minecraft single player survival 100% vanilla. Yes, 100% vanilla. Uh, the series called Jams, just another Minecraft series. And I've been doing lots of work in the past, but not recently on this series. Um, but the series is back. That's right, it is back. We are going to kick some butts. Maybe. Oh, oh, I see when I don't hold anything, my cape doesn't go invisible anymore. Hmm, what does that mean? That means we are in 1.11. Yes, we have upgraded the world to 1.11. That's why I am using the generic texture pack. I'm not using my super duper, whatever I called the KMA's corner pack. <laughs> yes, we are just using the default No Faithful 32 with some extra options on it. So torches and things like that look the same or normal. You know, it might be good to actually stay with this texture pack, which is the normal texture pack. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But for this video, seeing we are getting ready for the world download, we need to finish some projects. And there's a project that I have needed to finish and been have uh, really not been looking forward to doing it because these projects are really grindy and I have been really short on time lately. So grindy and short on time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. You see this beautiful nether tunnel here and it goes for hundreds of blocks that way. Probably 600 blocks, I think. And there's another tunnel that needs to be finished. That's about 800 blocks long. And we've got this tunnel. It comes to this. It comes to this. We need to fix this. We need to make this look like that. That's what we're going to do today. We got that to make it look like this. And um, this is not the only tunnel I have not finished yet. I haven't finished my tunnel to the Mega Taiga where I get my Podzol. And that tunnel is going to be like five, ten times harder to finish than this one. So let me go and I haven't even made a design for it. So let me take my horse and ride all the way over there and let's take a look at what I am talking about. Yeah, see this tunnel right here? This tunnel goes to my Podzol collecting area. And we have to design a... a um, this tunnel. I don't know how I'm going to do it. And it is very, very long, as you can see. I still have chests of stuff in the middle. And I can I get through here? Oh, yes. I've brought a horse down here before, hence the two wides and the ways of getting around the chest. See, I'm smart. Yes, yes, yes. But this whole way needs a, a design. It needs a design bad. So I'm going to go and take a look at this area um, and just try and get some ideas of what I want to do for this tunnel. What I have been doing, so you kind of know where the tunnels have been going, is using the blocks for the destination point of the tunnel and um, using those blocks to make the tunnel itself. So obviously if this is a tunnel to get Podzol, Podzol is going to be one of the things I'm going to make the tunnel out of. So let's see what's in here. Um, I have no idea if it's night or not, but it doesn't really matter because I'm pretty pretty hooked up. So. You know, this is a Mega Taiga, so you kind of look around and go, what blocks shall I use? Oh, it's getting to be day. All right. So I guess we're going to have to use some of this um, mossy cobblestone. We'll probably use Bruce as an accent block, and we're going to definitely use... Um, oh, is this coarse dirt? Is this coarse dirt? Let's see. Coarse dirt. So coarse dirt is in here, too. So we can use coarse dirt... Podzol, spruce, um, mossy cobble, and probably just regular cobblestone. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a quick design 
All right, so I'm over at the other tunnel, and as you see in my inventory, I got the mossy stone, I got the pods, uh, I got the gorse dirt, and I got spruce woods, and some stone slabs, and I've been twerking on a design for the Mega Taiga tunnel, and I think I've come up with one. It's a little rustic, it's a little, uh, it's a little dirty. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. It's a little dirty. So let's take a look at it. Um, I've only done one pod. I mean, not, not a big deal, right? But, um, yeah. So we got the pod on the bottom. We got the design of the cobble slabs and the stone slabs. Coarse dirt on the ceiling. Um, and the mossy and, you know, whatever. Glowstone. The only thing I'm not sure of, I might change these out for the mossy, but in general, actually, it should be, if I were to go along how I do these other tunnels, it, that block in between should not be cobble, it should actually be the same one that are these, which is the wooden ones. So let me just see real quick side by side which one is better yeah see i was trying to get away from this brown this is a very brown tunnel and i'm trying to get away from it but you know what i think i actually do like the brown better it's not so much that um i really want to be working with the brown um because it's you know obviously not the best looking color for the tunnel but I think it works better than the cobblestone the cobblestone was a little contrasty over there I don't know mega tigers are very brown and I think I captured the overall fauna of the of the of the um, biome so I think I'm gonna do all 600 blocks of this tunnel in this style so I guess I have lots of work to do First, I'm going to have to clean out all of this. I'm going to do that. And first, before that, fix my pickaxe so I can cut out, out all this stone. And I'll do all this. This is going to take mega ages, so I think I might stream part of this. So I've been doing some digging on the nether tunnel, the first part of the uh, place. I think it's always best to dig out the area you want to build in. Especially in the nether before you build in, then you can just focus on building and not worry about cutting things out. So basically, I've done this whole thing um, for the most part. I just filled up my inventory of crap. Um, and so I'm going to start working on... <laughs> yeah, got to pick up those blocks because, you know, eventually I will need to use netherrack, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, basically it's ready to go, so we got it all cut out. I cut out this side a little bit better because uh, I do use the indent in the wall, but when I get over here, I think I'll just run down there to 600 blocks and clean out the 1800 blocks of um, blocks I need to clean out. So, I guess the next step would be to start building this, which means I need to get a whole bunch of the spruce wood. Because I have zero zip nada, maybe a stack or two, and I need probably 10 to 20 stacks. I have no idea. Especially when these things catch on fire, because um, we're building in the nether and there's lava pockets everywhere. But anyways, I'm going to get a whole bunch of nether, um, I mean, <laughs> a whole bunch of spruce, and I'm going to start placing down these pillars and these inner walls, and I'll get back with you. Basically what I do is I just go one one type of block at a time, and um, put this out. And it is a very long tunnel, and I've got ways to do. I've um, completely finished this section. The corners I always do last, just because it's a corner, and it needs a little special something, if you know what I mean. And uh, over here, I am working on the rest of it. And as you see, I just do one thing at a time. I start with the cobblestone, then I add this, and then I add probably these things. And I probably don't want to be playing with an axe with that wood. And now it looks like I'm putting up the wood. It's been a couple of days since I've been on here. Um, but this video is has been delayed a week just because it is a long freaking tunnel and it takes a lot of resources to get this stuff done. 
as you see it continues and it continues and it continues so um i'm probably gonna stream tonight and look at that we gotta we've got a problem this is why oh and this looks like a problem where i've had a problem before this is why working with wood in the nether there it is is not the best idea in the world because um of lava did i just kill it or did i just i could kill it okay because we get burning issues like that and that's rather annoying oh look at this i actually got a bunch of wood on me <laughs> oh so yeah um so it is kind of annoying you place a whole bunch of blocks and you realize eventually that those blocks aren't good enough because they start burning again and um, I think I had a problem with it burning here recently so every once in a while I do take this trip down this tunnel and go what's burning and try and find a lava source and destroy it just for your information and knowledge I am probably gonna finish the tunnel tonight in a stream that is why you want to follow me on Twitter KMA's corner at KMA's Corner. Actually, it's Twitter at KMA's Corner. Ouchie, ouchie. Because, um, I don't really have a true set schedule right now because of work. Um, but I'm going to try and, um, stream on Saturdays, Wednesdays, and Sundays. No, it's Horsey. Okay, I thought Horsey might have went through there. Um, but I announced it on Twitter, so if you follow me at Twitter, at KMA's Corner, you will find out when I am streaming, and you can see the creative process as it goes, instead of these little updates in the middle of videos. But, I'm going to do the stream tonight, and probably finish up this tunnel, and then finish up the tunnel at the other end, which is a lot smaller, I plan, I think the other tunnel is going to take probably an hour tops. Coming down here... It looks awfully weird with the glowstone off one block. So I'm <laughs> I'm going to actually interchange those two. So because when you're riding next to it, it's, you're not going to notice that the glowstone is out of place. But when you're seeing this this particular piece of glowstone from far far away, even though it's not symmetrical to where it is located, it would look so much better if it was in line with that. So I'm going to switch that around. Hey guys. This is the portal for the taiga. I finished the tunnel for the most part. Over here I have the back place just so I can bring horses and stuff through. And I have the stables here and over there. And I made the finish the whole tunnel. I still have to get rid of these chests because they're filled with crap. Good crap. I mean, but we got to uh, move all these chests before the world download. Bring it to my storage system. But anyways, um, this is the tunnel and completion other than the bend. I didn't do the bend section. I filled in the blocks, but I'm going to change it up. So as you see, um, it's very long. I finished it during a stream. So this is kind of what it looks like. I mean, it's a tunnel. <laughs> Yay, a tunnel. So let me just show you real quick what I need to finish before the end of the video. Because um, I want to have all the tunnels completed. It's a big project. This corner, I'm going to figure out something to do. I just have blocks here just to have blocks here so I'm not looking at another rack. But this isn't how I'm going to leave this section for sure. And let me show you what else we need to get done fastly. All right, guys, as you see at the end of the tunnel here, there is some... Look at that, I got Optifine working on 1.11. Yeah, neeners. But anyways, I got the um, tunnel not finished down there. The reason why I'm stopping here oops, is this is my uh, tunnel to uh, Mesa. So I'm going to have to recreate this little tunnel in another area because I have 
a portal to a mesa over here so I'm gonna recreate that you see that portal down there that's gonna be a mesa little tunnel but this was gonna be the prismarine stuff all the way down here and this is what I need to finish for the video and then the prismarine stuff turns to the left here because that's the way to the guardian farm and this is the way to the clay area so that's what I was talking about I just have this little bit of tunnel left and that will be the end of the video I mean that that will accomplish everything in the video I know this video has taken two weeks to get out but lots of building involved so let me get to work and get this stuff done and I'll just basically show you the finished product because of time and video restraints are you loving my horse you seem to be really loving my horse there you were giving him a hug and pushing him down the tunnel and everything now you want to oh no you're not gonna give me a hug now these pigmen are acting awfully strange. Have I been spending too much time with you guys working on these nether tunnels? Are you, are you annoyed with me? Oh, you pushing me around now too? Hmm. But anyways, <clears throat> I've changed, I've finished everything up basically. I also changed one thing um, with all the ends with my horse stables. It's initially this block with the glowstone and the nether brick was actually flush with this so there's no 3d here so I pushed them all back in all the encoves where there are horse stables this has been pushed back one and it looks way better it was just kind of a little annoying because each one of my tunnels has a different <clears throat> theme different blocks and so I had to get the different blocks from each tunnel to do this but it's worth it in the end because it looks so much better so um, let me just show you what I've done and we can call it a video and start talking about what's going to happen in the next video. As you see, this is my one of my nether tunnels. This one uh, actually goes to my wither killing area so I can get wither skulls. But down here, this is the tunnel and that I needed to finish and um, can't really see it yet because it's so far away. It's so far away from me that you just can't see it, even if I do like that. So give it a minute and it will start showing up. But I finished the end of this tunnel and made the little section of the uh, Mesa tunnel at the very end of that also. And I just want to show you that and then we can move on and talk about what to expect. Oh, you start seeing the glowstone at the end there. Um, that's actually not glowstone, that's a sea lantern, but you get the idea. The corner is done, if you remember right where that sea lantern is, was all nether rack last time. Because I didn't have this corner to the very end done. But the corner is done, as you see. Um, and I finished this little section, which was all just nether rack. It's pretty easy to get all these blocks because I got the guardian for them, so it wasn't a big deal. So it comes up and it turns into the clay because that way is to the mesa. And I gotta push these blocks back. I haven't pushed these blocks back. I gotta do them for some of the endings. Um, as you see, this is what it looks like when it's flush with the other ones. It looks much better when it's pushed back a little bit. And um, let's see, on this side, same sort of thing. And. I need to push these back also, so I haven't really done them all, but I've got all the behind the portal things in, and I lost a horse, so this guy is new that I'm on now, but you know how it is, you got a thousand skelly horses, so it doesn't really matter, but I brought him into the nether, no problem, because I got the three wide, and I got the, the ability for them to be in these other areas, so instead of being spawn inside the obsidian it spawns properly so that's how you do horses now so i guess i'm gonna run towards spawn and we'll do it like this yeah that's kind of a goofy way of doing it um <laughs> all right let's run into a wall this does look really freaking goofy <laughs> yeah charge Oh, wall. Aha. So, <laughs> so my cat goes nuts in the other room. 
So next episode, you see these chests that I'm leaving in the hallways and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't want them there anymore. And the best way to move these blocks is, or all the blocks and the chests that you leave randomly around the world is with shulker boxes. So guess what I am doing next episode? I am going to completely and utterly do the whole episode in the end, flying around trying to get shulker boxes. I'm rather afraid of that because I don't want to be losing my gears and stuff. But hopefully every time I pick something up, I'm going to throw it into a end chest and have it be saved if I do die. Um, I do plan on dying, losing all my stuff, which is going to stink. And look at my XP. It looks like I've died already. And I have... One, I don't remember why I died. Hmm. I must have died somehow because I have no XP whatsoever. Zero is it nada. Hmm. I don't know what I did to die, but anyways, <laughs> um, we're going to get all the shulker boxes and we're probably going to end up collecting all the different um, chests around the world that are just laying around because I've been working on the project and I was too lazy to pick it up because, you know, when you get the world for world download, you don't want to be uh, leaving chests and stuff around. Beep, beep. Beep. I noticed I did not look behind me before I walked backwards. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and raid the end and get as much stuff as we possibly can. Specifically the shulker boxes. So I have unlimited storage, which would be pretty cool. And, um, that episode will be coming out in a couple of weeks. Alright? But until then, have a great day. This is Keith for KMA's Corner. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.